Hey everyone, it's Michelle, and I have a project here to share with you guys today. Um, here I have an altered book with a niche or a niche, and um, this is using the Webster's Pages um, Waiting for Santa collection. And I'll just show you guys, explain to you guys what I did to alter this book. So I am obsessed with the Tim Holtz tissue tape. Like, I covered this whole entire book inside and out with tissue tape. And I love it. It's like the most amazing thing. I mean, it's already, it has its adhesive already stuck on, and all you do is just layer it on, and it sticks down. And you got this really cool um, design. So he does have a lot of designs out in his tissue tape, and I covered mine with the music notes. And I have the Tim Holtz um, hinges right there, and I daubed those in the gold paint dauber. I did some fussy cutting around the paper, and there's a cute little birdcage right there. I have a little spray right here from Michaels and some, some more of the um, Webster's Pages paper. And I have a little wooden piece right here of Santa's sleigh. And then I have some I Am Roses skeleton leaves right here in the back. Okay, so for this um, project, I wanted to do something, uh, and I wanted to create it, like, different. I've been doing a lot of altered boxes lately, which I still have to show to you guys and um, post a video. But I've been doing a lot of altered um, boxes and plates and, like, Christmas cards, and I wanted to do something different, just something really random. So I did this. And this is the front cover. And so when you open it up, it is a book with a niche or a niche. And a niche means like a little hole or a secret compartment in the book. And I'm going to go through what I used. So on this page, sorry about the glare, you guys. Um, I have the Christmas tree cut out from the paper collection right here. And I have some sprays, crystal sprays with some... Um, acorns, uh, I am roses, flowers, and baby roses, prima leaves, and some more skeleton leaves over here on the side. And then I also mod podge the whole entire thing just so, you know, it lasts a long time. And I have some cotton here underneath for snow, and there's a little house. And everything is it's really, really dimensional. Um, some prima bling onto the side here and here a little bow and I did a lot of distressing and the colors that I used were vintage photo and walnut stain and it says Christmas wish as the title and then on this side here the fussy cutting and the little hole and then there's Santa Claus looking down um, getting away with his in his a hot air balloon and he has a little sack of presents and then He's looking down, and there are these other presents here, like he dropped them down, kind of. And um, and then on this Tim Holtz um, film strip ribbon, it says, Will you marry me? So that's it. And in the middle is um, a box, and it's a ring box. So that's how it would look like. Let me just display it for you guys. I'll put my wedding ring in there, actually, so you guys can see what I mean. I just did this project because I really wanted to do something different. So that's how it looks like. I can't even see. So much glare. But that is my project. And I hope you guys like it. I have a video out. It's one of my first videos on my channel. And it is called a tutorial for a Nietzsche book. And um, so I have a tutorial on how to, like, cut this out. And, you know, what to use and what to do. Um, it's not the best tutorial, but it was, like, one of my first videos. So you can check it out if you want. And I think Carleen at... Um, Pink Scrapper 99 also just made a video and she had a secret compartment book so um, with her phone book so that was a really cool idea and I just wanted to show this um, because I finished it like weeks ago but I just had time to post it now so I hope you guys like it I um, 
love the way it turned out. It was really, really cute. Love Webster's pages. The papers are so pretty. So your little ring box just covers like that. I hate my lighting. It sucks. But, and then that's the cover in the back. And that's how it is on the side. And everything is like, yeah, see? Super dimensional. And that's it. I hope you guys like this project, and I hope you guys are inspired to try something different. And, I mean, like, I don't know why I put Will You Marry Me, because, you know, that's a guy. A guy's question. But I just wanted to try something different, and I hope you guys like it. And um, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.